roll the That's R's. That's right. Yeah. It's okay. Good. It's just regular. Just yeah. pronounce it like it's American. <laughs> okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Native TV here at KubeCon, Day Zero Wrap-Up Show. I am Chris Short, CNCF Ambassador, Kubernetes Contributor, and uh, currently employed at Red Hat as a Technical Marketing Manager running the Red Hat live streaming channels. I am here today with Laura Santa Maria, one of our many guests that we'll have today on air. Um, Laura, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. How are things at Plumi going? They are amazing. Yes. You're having a wonderfully lovely time. Yeah, so, so how is KubeCon treating you? KubeCon I mean, has been fun. Uh, yeah. I've only been here for about a day and a half now okay. so far. My flight got late. I like think everybody everybody's flight else's was flight was late. late. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something along that line. Yeah. But uh, no, I've gotten to see a lot of people. It's nice to be back in person. Right. Just seeing people in real life. I kind of don't recognize anybody because they all have masks on. Yeah, like it's really hard. It's it's. Re uh, I will freely admit that, like, I saw people I definitely knew Yep. walk right past them. Yep. And then, like, they stopped and turned around and, like, Chris? And it's like, yes. That, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly been happening. So. Also, everyone's told me I'm much taller than I am. You are. You are on, much taller than you appear yeah, on. Yeah, 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 on camera. So, yeah, just so that you know, he's much taller than me, just right. in case you're not yes. sure about that one. So what did you do today? Day zero. I mean, big old I, day. Well, first things first, I missed my run this morning because, you know, getting in late. So that was kind of a bit of a bummer. But then we went and got our badges mm -hmm. and it was really easy. So for yeah, anybody was, coming in late, yeah, it's shocked. really simple. Just take your clear app. You do the little health survey thing, show them the thing and they go, great, go in that way. Mm -hmm. And they check your temperature and they say, keep going. And you go pick up your badge. And I'm like, oh, this is simple. This That's is nice. nice. Yes. I was thinking it was going to be more. I was expecting like, like a 40-minute line. Yeah, like it was not as... I was done in five minutes. Yeah. But so you then, do have to check in every day, right? And like yeah, do that but, health app uh, thing. Yeah, that's not too bad, That's though. not bad. Yeah. No, no, that's not too bad. I'll take the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday stickers and just yeah. move on with life. little sticker. Yeah. I'm done. So Cool. And then wandered around the convention center a little bit till I made it to OpenShift Commons. Mm -hmm. So I stopped through there, yeah, I watched some there. talks. That was really good. Yeah. We had a good time. Mm -hmm. And then got to see more people, went to lunch. Went and helped out with our sponsor booth. Right. And then went to see more people. And it's been great. It's like been seeing great. people. Yeah, like, like real life people. I thought I would be more anxious about it at first, right? I definitely didn't know what to talk about at first. Because like, like, what, what do you have do? you been doing during the I pandemic? I don't know. <laughs> Something along that line. But right? Like, it's just been entertaining. Which, which new hobby did you pick up? Exactly. Yeah. Or, or, you know. How many windows did you watch everything happen out of? Yeah, right. For the past exactly. 18 months. Uh, my son knows a lot more about birds. Well, that's good. It's a good thing I to mean, learn. Maybe. Hobby. Uh, yeah, Hobbies are good. There's some weird sounding bird names in like the state of Michigan, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Anyways. That's okay. <laughs> so, commons, and then you did some booth setup? Yes, yeah, setting up for the booth. Yeah. Um, we've got a booth up here, helped out with some other booth setup because, you know, why not? Um, just saw some people there like trying to figure out how to open up their sticker packs and Ooh, you know yeah. I'd like I have a pen we can use a pen to open this up so I sat there helping them open their sticker packs yeah you the, know. the not having a pair of scissors around is really it's really of, hard yeah it's, yeah yeah Yeek. yeah yeah so is the booth all set up ready for yeah. tomorrow we are ready I'm awesome. so excited to start seeing people again yeah like come by it'll be fun. right stop by the plumey booth wander uh, by every booth because yeah, it's gonna be fun well. Like, there's companies I have not heard of yeah. here, and it's just like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, where'd you cool. come from? Where'd you come from? Exactly, yeah. yeah. The interesting thing is going to be how many people are like, I don't have any more tech shirts because they've all gotten worn over the past year oh, and a half. How many people shoot. are going to be going by, like, shopping all the booths for more tech shirts? Well, I will be. Yeah, Probably I think a, a lot of people will. A few, like, only the good ones, though. That's right? true. Like, I, I will assess the field and then go pick what I think is best. <laughs> Something like that. If you see me in front of your booth writing something down on my phone, that's that's a good sign. Yeah, maybe he's tweeting about it. That'll, yeah. That's how we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So, tomorrow, are you speaking? Are no, you, no, tomorrow I am wandering around. I'm going to be at the booth. Okay. going to be wandering around seeing all the keynotes. Nice. Finding more people to hang out with and say hi to. Right. And uh, people can heckle me on Twitter. I will heckle back. Your, It'll be fun. What's your Twitter handle? 
No one's actually going to be able to actually write this down. I know. Yeah, it's okay. So Nimbinatus, it's uh, it's Latin. Don't ask me. You can start laughing. It's okay. N I M B I N B I N T U S A T U S A T U S. Good lord. <laughs> all right. Well, it's all good. Yeah. All right. Let Look for Laura Santa Maria. <laughs> but well, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you. All right. So who's next? Uh, I think, who wants who? to go next? All right. We're having fun Andrew looking over next. there like, who wants to go first? Who's my next victim? Bring it on. Come on. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. I'm going to hand you the mic. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Have fun. Andrew. Andrew, how are you? I'm all right. Glad to be here, Chris. Oh, and you? Happy to have you here. Um, how was your day zero? It's been Did you busy. go for a run this morning? I did not. Mm, I had probably. the intention to do so. Did you really? I did not. No, I didn't either. I failed at that. <laughs> Got tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't bring the shoes. Anyways, so here we are. Los Security Angeles. con. Security con. Okay, so you were down the hall. Yeah, yeah. Down the hall, ran from 9 to 5. We had a wow. great selection of curated tracks. For right. the first year, we had a breakout room. Wow. Two separate tracks. Nice. We also had a Capture the Flag event, which has been an absolute success. As scenarios of Kubernetes clusters made available for people to attack at. Nice. Yeah. So what was the most interesting like thing you might have learned today about? Might have learned. Yeah. You know, cloud native security can be very intimidating. Agreed. Yeah. And there's layers we have to the it. tendency to deep dive and assume and, and leave a lot of folks behind because context well, matters. Yeah. Context matters. Yeah. It's been it's been quite the evolution of lowering that barrier of entry, making information more accessible. We've produced a number of artifacts this year around cool. security maps, reference architectures, security audits for projects. So uh, Andy actually wrapped up the the event talking about his hacking Kubernetes book that's about to get published. Nice. As something, someone leaving the event super excited, you get to the workplace and you have a hard time explaining folks right. what is it that got you so excited. Yeah. And yeah, you can check out the code on GitHub, but getting it from there to production, right. there's a lot of people to convince. Yes. So we got these resources that once you get to talk to your security pals, mm -hmm. they can understand the attributes, the failure modes, the compensating controls, and make the journey from zero to production easier. And knowing right. that you've paid attention to security, you've incorporated it as part of the design, and that there's enough thought of how to integrate those interfaces with other sharp tools. Wow. So, yeah, y'all had an awesome day, it sounds like. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Nine we got we got plenty of work ahead of us still. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, we got well a lot of convincing to do. Yeah. So the 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 rest of the conference, what are your plans? I am co-presenting with Brandon Lum tomorrow. Okay. On we got somewhat of a contentious title, creating cloud native security. Credits go to Emily Fox, who was also part of the Fair presenting enough. crew, who's unfortunately not not with us this week. Right. Yeah. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Looking forward to the hallway track. Always. Oh yeah, yeah. Very good conversations. Seeing what other people are about, like, what have they been working on? What have they been taking away? Awesome. Yeah, man. So, any booth duty for on your schedule? Uh, VMware actually made the decision not to have a booth. Interesting. To give folks the option, not not have them feel they were committed to okay. attend that it was hmm. an option for them to, to come or not, but it was not mandated by work to be here. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. We were intending to have a booth uh, in office hours for our security technical advisor group. Okay. We decided not to do that because also running with a skeleton crew and mm. most of our folks are remote. Right. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, the Kubernetes contributors are kind of the same thing, right? Like not a lot of people were here we just decided hey let's turn it into a new contributor workshop doc sprint and off we go right so right. um still make use of the space but 
not waste the time. Rolling with the punches. Exactly. So being very flexible is kind of key this year, I feel like. Um, no curveballs have come at us yet, but hey, we'll right. see. Um, we awesome. have great reach and engagement through Clout Native TV, right? I feel like so it, yeah. Omnipresent. Yeah, but you know what, though? I just realized, Bill, I did not grab that laptop or iPad over there, which is fine. But anyways, I can't see your comments. That's the only problem. Sorry, folks. <laughs> if you yell loud enough, maybe I'll hear you. Um, <laughs> so uh, who's up next? You feel good, Andres? Thank you for Excellent. joining. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go back here. I do enjoy a good pineapple pizza. Um, <laughs> Sacrilege in some places. Yes, yes, yes. So how are you doing today? Very well indeed. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a book coming out, I hear. I, yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, primarily we were, uh, we were running the CTF alongside uh, Supply Chain Con. Right. Uh, well, sorry, that was yesterday alongside Security Con. Um, both excellent, excellent days. And uh, yeah, we, we stood up about 600 nodes. We had about 150 players. Wow. Everyone gets their own dedicated cluster for each scenario. Nice. And uh, yeah, the, the learning outcomes in, on this occasion were based upon exercises and, and sort of tests that our red team have done mm -hmm. on production systems for customers. Okay. So we had uh, a higher bar than we would do normally. And right. people people gone really well. Yeah. Wow. So what was what was like the coolest hack maybe, uh, well, or a actually, compromise incident, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah, like, the um, we, we did two live streams through the day. Okay. And uh, on the second one, uh, we, we had uh, Duffy and some other folks on there, mm -hmm. and Duffy said he was tempted to drop the Run C exploit that he's going to talk about tomorrow. Ooh. As part of the CTF, which is kind of a bit of a gangster move. That would what, be what are you going to do? Pretty funny, yeah. Yeah. Um, we uh, yeah we believe we're on the latest patch versions. But uh, yeah, always, always, always worth checking. Yes. Um, always, so always yeah, always. the, the uh, often with cloud native systems, because everything's declarative, there's a well-known attack surface. Um, Brad Giesemann likes to say that the application is the soft underbelly right. of Kubernetes security. Yeah. It's a great turn of phrase. It is. And so, uh, yeah, we, we started off with an injection attack, had to pop a reverse shell to get mm -hmm. persistence inside the container, then exploit RBAC, jump around to other places, uh, another scenario, we had uh, some mission controllers, Caverno in that case, yeah. that were using regexes to validate Ooh. entry, and then you can get around Ooh. these things. Yeah. yeah. Regex, so, I mean, like regex is, like if you think YAML's bad, right? Like, <laughs> or for that, not to say YAML's bad or anything, but it, it, if you think you've got a perfect regex, I feel like you, you're just waiting for something to happen, right? Like. It's thoroughly totally vet destroyed. your 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 regex and maybe ask your vendor if you're using one you know hey is this a good you know way to implement this because yeah there's a lot of ways to get around regex like validation nowadays yeah and it, it comes with the territory because right. we've, we've been given the skills to write our own policy which mm -hmm. is amazing and now we've got right. so much flexibility yeah but then it, it's always um who will watch the watches kind of thing yeah. i had a great conversation with somebody on uh on maybe stackable admission controllers, if you're looking to mm. sign the configuration that you're pushing into the admission controller, mm -hmm. then do you, do you do that with an operator or do you do what kind of app armor stackable LSMs do mm -hmm. and just run two of the same thing, one to make sure that the other one's not being compromised? Interesting. Yeah, it's a bit philosophical at this stage, but. Gosh. That's, that's metaphysical almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you most looking forward to this, this week, the week ahead, I guess? Um, I'm, I'm speaking tomorrow as well. I've got, awesome. um, uh, a Kubernetes software factory talk, kind of all the supply chain. Mm -hmm. there's, there's so much conversation about this. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to go high level and just summarize what everyone else is talking about because there's so so many great people who've written right. tools. Right, and gone that, down the rabbit hole kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So uh, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I will um, shamefully cross-promote the book in any and every occasion. Who's, Hacking who, Kubernetes. Hacking <laughs> Kubernetes. Who's, who's the publisher? O'Reilly. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, so Did you have a co-writer or? Yeah, Michael Hasselblas. Oh, has, perfect. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. I know Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he, he guided me through the process and obviously is a preeminent and well-published author already. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, yeah, really excited. It, it's due to be published, I think, at the end of this month, something like that. Cool. So yeah, yeah. definitely check that out. And then uh, I, I always love the, uh, I mean, I love going on the booth crawls. I love the all attendee parties. And just, I mean, it's, as everyone says, it's just a delight to see people it, in the It really room. is, right? Like, if, if you're watching, you're not here. I'm sorry, you can't experience it for yourself. But it's very reassuring to be seeing people again, right? Like, when you look at how things have gone the past 18 months, it's wild that we're even sitting here right now, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah, it's it's crazy. And, you know, we are six feet apart here. But, uh, yeah, everyone's wearing their masks. Yep. Very using the hand sanitizer. I haven't yep. heard of any problems. It's just, you know, this is life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's, uh, there's hope and we can learn to live. I, I, I love the uh, interaction bracelets. The, yes. The degree of sort of interaction you're happy to have with somebody. Right. So, those. yeah, the, the, uh, an interesting, like, if you've been to CubeCons before, there are now red, yellow, and green wristbands, which I put on my lanyard just so people can see them more easily, but you can wear them on your wrist, no problem, um, to indicate, like, what level of physical contact or, you know, interaction you're willing to take and, like, literal, like, guide to it next to yeah. the bowls of them. It's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, like... Laura, for example, has a red and a green one, just in case. You never know, right? Like, you might change your mind you walking back to the hotel, right? Like, you already go to bed. Just put on a red one, and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, book? Any any other talks you're looking forward to, maybe? Oh, man. Um, I would admit to barely having even glanced at the schedule. To be honest, I'm in the same boat, right? Like, I usually this is the night that I look through the schedule and like line up all the places I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, um, I, I love the calendar export feature. So I did go through it mm -hmm. months ago. I do have a calendar that will tell me where nice. I need to be. So you did the legwork already. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> see you're ahead of the game. I'm not. Yeah. Good for you. But, uh, yeah, I haven't had a moment to reflect. Uh, so pleased that we've now shipped the CTF shipped the last two days of like the, the last two days zero conferences were just brilliant. Really? Yeah. So much. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'll kind of settle back into it and get my conference groove on again. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is great to be just back here with everyone. I mean, it's it's like the band got back together. It feels like a little bit, maybe. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's not much. it's not quite you know to that level, but close. So yeah, you know, it's it's an experience when you walk through a hotel and you're like, hey, there's somebody I know from you know another part of the world, maybe potentially. Oh, um, well, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I haven't seen so many U.S. friends for two years. Right. Universally. Yeah. I mean, people didn't realize how tall I was, for example. <laughs> you know, right? Like, it's just one of those things. Um, yeah, so anything else you you want to plug or talk about or, I you know? I don't know if I've got any plugs left in me. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> All right. So who is next up here? You go next? All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So you're wearing a Spire shirt. How's it going? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. There's so much stuff going on these few days. <laughs> Please introduce yourself for the audience. Uh, let people know, you know, what you've been up to today. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm Brandon Lam. I'm uh, the co-chair of um, the CNCF Tech Security. Awesome. So naturally, you know, we've been hanging out at Cloud Native Security Con today. Mm -hmm. um, there's just so many security centric events over these past few days. It's been a real focus, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. a real focus. <laughs> the number of times I heard supply chain already. <laughs> right. Like even in like non security related ones, because yeah. I bounced between OpenShift Commons and GitOps Con today and it was mentioned in both. Right. Like yeah. so it's like a universal need. Yeah. No, I mean, security is one of those things where you can't really escape it. Right. It's um, right. We're trying to kind of bring developers, you know, whole uh, DevOps, DevSecOps thing is kind of really isn't about, you know, creating a, a new, you know, pipeline or anything. It's really about making sure that people come together and there is a shared responsibility going forward. Right. Yeah. I think, I mean, yeah, there's not going to be one team that's going to manage your Kubernetes security, right. I don't right. think. No, it's, it's just, no one wants it, it is a collaborative <laughs> effort and multi layered thing. Yeah. So, what are you working on in, I mean, in tag security right now? Is I know there's some 
some papers that have been out lately, some some stuff that's been going on. You want to talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, so the, there's some awesome stuff we've done in the past, right? We've done the, the CNF, CNCF um, Cloud Native Security White Paper. Yep. Uh, recently, we just launched the um, Cloud Native Security Map, which is like landscape, oh, nice, nice. geographical uh, website where you can go in, navigate through it, mm -hmm. uh, look at the different, you know, more from a practical approach. Right. Like, what are the projects that if I'm looking at, you know, uh, image signing or artifact signing, what are the projects I have to look at, and things like that. Uh, one of the things that I think is really cool that was um, just just released today was the Cloud Native Security Microsurvey. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So this was something... Please tell me you have a short URL you could say on air or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. Okay. Well, fair enough. Um, but if you, if you <laughs> look hard enough on Twitter, you'll find it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what is this micro survey co going to cover? Yeah, so this micro survey kind of, um, you know, it's a follow up from uh, one of our previous surveys mm -hmm. that kind of looked at, you know, generally what are people looking for. Uh, we are checking back up on you know what are the concerns and challenges of the industry in general. Um, so you know, we we see things like you know supply chain being obviously one of the top things. Right. Uh, but I think one thing that you know we also saw a lot of things on vulnerability management. Uh, secret management as well being mm -hmm. like big things. Um, one of the the key things that we we'll mentioned in this was that organizations actually found more than fifty percent of the respondents said that uh, they felt like they couldn't, they didn't have the right expertise or the talent well, to yeah. be able to implement security. Uh, well, to be fair, the market is super hot right now, and there's a reason for that is because the talent is very much wanted, right? Yeah. So, learning Kubernetes thinking about Kubernetes securely and operating in that secure model is going to be the wave of the future, right? Like right. Right. it's it's not something we can say, hey, you know, let's worry about security <laughs> after the cluster is deployed. No, it's part of the life cycle of that cluster. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we, we talk a little bit about, you know, edge use cases, you know, okay. about the concerns there. You know, it's up and coming with 5G, with mm -hmm. um, IoT. Yeah. You know, edge is becoming a more prevalent use case. Um, yeah, and like we, we have a lot of um, other projects such as like the de secure defaults. Right. Um, 8, which is kind of like, you know, how in Python you have the PEP 8, which is like the style mm -hmm. guideline. Mm -hmm. This is like the security defaults guideline. Of nice. If I'm starting a project as a maintainer, mm -hmm. uh, what should be my mindset and approach that I think about with going forward with how I design the scale configuration of my my project? Interesting. Yeah, yeah that's very nice. I might have to go read that. <laughs> like, I know it's going to be long and it might take me a yeah. few hours, but that's fine. Yeah. I might have to take a break. But anyways, so what are you looking forward to in the conference this week? Um, so I'm going to be talking. I think Andrews uh, mentioned that mm -hmm. we are, we're doing a talk tomorrow on uh, cloud native security. Um, I have another talk on Thursday that we're talking about uh, workload identity. You know, spiffy spy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should say. Um, yeah. So we're going to be talking about you know how do you um, deal with the access control problem when you go from a single cloud to multi cloud. Now you have all this, this tens of thousands of things you have to to manage together, and it becomes um, it, it becomes a difficult management problem. So that's, right. uh, we're going to be talking about how you can use Spiffy Spire to address that. Um, but in general, there's so much excitement for, for Spiffy and Spire. Mm -hmm. There's like, I think there were like three talks, um, right. three or four talks throughout the entire con. Yeah. So for folks that don't know, right, like what do Spiffy and Spire do for you? Yeah. Um, so Spiffy is uh, the secure product. Um, production identity framework for everyone. Okay. Uh, the main idea of Spiffy is it kind of defines um, what workload identity is and how workloads can securely uh, obtain identities and to be able to perform you know, authentication between the different workloads. Okay. Um, to you know this idea, I know the the work gets thrown a lot around zero trust. Sure. Um, you know, being able to authenticate, being able to attest everything that you have, um, so that you know. You know, is you you have kind of assurance that when I'm talking to you, Chris, that mm -hmm. you really are Chris, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that isn't that nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I I am the pod you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, the the so with everything going on, you know, security-wise out there in the world right now, it's 
you know, every day I wake up, there's another breach. Oh, yeah. There's an, it's so people moving to Kubernetes have to consider the security aspect mm -hmm. as they're moving, right? Like it's, right. it's not like you can bolt it on after the fact. Yeah. I mean, you can, but like yeah. technically, yes, you can, but it's a bad idea to wait, start yeah. secure and follow that yeah. kept eight kind of thing. Yeah. And, and you know, a lot of times people say like security is costly, but if you do it earlier, you're actually saving costs. Right. Yeah. Uh, auto, yes, building that into your pipelines and automating that security process as much as possible and then verifying Correct. it, like you said, you know, like it's very important. Checking everything zero trust. Yeah, like <laughs> not not saying, oh yeah, you know, that yeah. pod is definitely good, even though it's not signed or, you know, anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the talk you're doing, it, it's you know broad is yeah. what Andrew said. So the 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 main topics. What are you going to talk on? I guess. What? So so the the main idea right is is going to be talking about um, with workload identity. I think as mm -hmm. a community, we've kind of looked at it in terms of what the cloud providers have um, provided us with you know, mm -hmm. IAM systems and stuff like that. Right. Um, and then we take a look at the orthogonal problem, which is user identity, right? Which we've been, you know, for decades, this has been kind of um, the status quo already. And how we manage it is, you know, we don't think about user like Chris AWS or Chris mm -hmm. GCP or something like that, right? We think about Chris as a person. Right. right. And I think the, the main concept is we want to have the same idea with workload identity, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to say this is a platform specific thing. It belongs to the organization. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can hear that, there's an announcement going on. Sorry. Um, they want to hear more about it. <laughs> yes. I mean, so what are you most excited about in the talk, I guess? Uh, I, I'm, I'm most excited to see like, um, kind of hearing other folks, what they think about this. Mm -hmm. Uh, hearing, you know, what are some of the pain points, what are some, some of the things we can better integrate with. Um, you know, I think in the end, we all want the same thing and mm -hmm. we just have to really get together and discuss and figure out the common goal and the common way to achieve that instead of like trying all the different 400 things. 400 different ways to do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch your regex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Huh? Yeah. Um, so any parting thoughts before I bring up the next person? Um, is, there, is there some uh, piece of knowledge you want to share with the cloud native world? Because now's your chance. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, I think I've, I've said this before as well, you know, um, going into security, everyone doesn't have full knowledge of whatever mm -hmm. to do, right? And right. so it's like every incremental thing you can do, you know, look for the things that easy win, start with that, start building out your security posture. From day one. Day one, yeah. exactly. All day zero. <laughs> yeah, think about it before you yeah. start even deploying. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so who's next up here? Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Appreciate you coming on. No? So, no. Edith, you're next? Oh, boy. No? No. Come on. I'd be fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So... So, folks, uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask. We have a Thank bunch of experts so here. For your I promise I'll, I'll promise I'll make this easy. Yes, please, because I'm learning English. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. And congratulations for your next step in your career. So, oh, thank excited. you very much. Yeah. Awesome. So, this is your first QCon? It's, uh, I can say it's my first QCon. Like, the first one was in 2019. Okay. But I wasn't able to speak English, so I can consider this the, the first one. <laughs> Awesome, that's great. So what do you do? I'm a software engineer. I yeah. was working for a company, Place mm -hmm. SQL, uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Then I decided to prepare for my master in computer science. And right now I am just studying English and doing some, improving some skills. Awesome. So it's your first QCon where you speak English? Uh, my first QCon speaking English, this one, yeah. Yeah, and is there anything you're looking forward to in particular? Network is uh, awesome here. Yeah. And also some technical um, sessions about beginners in Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for, for that kind of session. Yeah. So how intimate, like this might be a very forward question, but how intimidating is Kubernetes for you, right? Like, hmm? um, it's not too much. I think uh, yeah. 
for me it's a little bit because of the language right but i think even uh, even about that i can i can make can increase my network and also mm -hmm. i can learn many things um, right yes yeah it's a font of knowledge literally just yeah, every day yeah awesome so you're networking this is uh, there's 3,000 plus people here, I think. Um, the the network opportunities are awesome so far that I've seen. Have you, who have you met that you were looking for? Are you looking forward to meeting anyone in particular? Or is there someone you've met right now um, yeah, or recently? I, I meet some people. So uh, I meet a guy, Ayush, from uh, one university. He's studying PhD. Nice. So we are in, in changing Okay. Analogies about Kubernetes operator, for example. Nice. Okay. Awesome. What? Uh, what? I mean, what challenges do you see with Kubernetes in your day-to-day -day work? Um, I'm looking more uh, deeper knowledge because I'm preparing for my certification in okay. Kubernetes for developers. Nice. So the last time I try, I failed. Well, this time I'm trying it's, again. it's not a trivial one. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a hard to. I will yeah. try again, uh, mm -hmm. and I will reach the, the score. So now I am trying to to get that knowledge here. Awesome, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Yeah. What kind of like study things have you done to you know bolster those skills? Because you know there's a CKA, the CKAD. Yeah. You know that it focuses on two different ty kinds of you know an operations versus developer kind of or not versus but different flavors or personas maybe. Um, what is it? that you think were some of the hardest parts of that test? I mean, is there is 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 there one thing that you could be like, hey, I would study this piece of material more than the other? Yeah. Not giving away any of the test answers or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's over here like about to rip my neck off. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you suggest people focus on? Uh, first of all, I, I can say that uh, if the if the people want to start in Kubernetes, they should dominate uh, containers. Yes. Docker is a very good way mm -hmm. to go. Then to start to practice for some certification because that forces to you to learn some basics, right. fundamentals about Kubernetes. And the certification for developers mm -hmm. is a good point to start, like right. me. Yeah. So where is everything fundamentals and more mm -hmm. easy than Kubernetes for administrator and I security. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, the security one's yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the the what what are your next steps here during KubeCon? What are you gonna like? What are you looking forward to? Um, in in the KubeCon. Like the, during this week? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to I would like to attend uh, more um, even more sessions for beginners. Yeah. Then uh, in my future steps is also to um, propose a, a session to, to, to talk. To yeah, speak. that'd be great. So yeah. I, I, I'm preparing for that. So I'm mm -hmm. improving my English and also uh, trying to know more about uh, my technicals, technical about Kubernetes. Right. So that is my next step. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So not, you're not a beginner per se, but you're, you're, closer to the beginning of your journey. Yes. What made you get involved in Kubernetes? Um, what, what was it about the project? Was it something at work or was it just a curiosity of your own? Yes, it was curiosity. Okay. So I always awesome. feel attracted for uh, technology, but uh, new technology. Mm -hmm. that, and Kubernetes was in that time attendance uh, threat. Right. So I started to do some demos okay. by myself. Then uh, the company where I was working, I just mentioned that I made some demos, and mm -hmm. they say, okay, let's try to make a project, and we start Ooh. to work uh, on a project. Yet. That's awesome. How, so how's that process going, right? Like uh, It was challenging, I can say. It yeah. was challenging, uh, difficult, because of uh, the frustration to, to, try to, work, to try to work something, because in that time we was working with GPUs, and this is oh, a challenge yeah. that uh, the normal Kubernetes Mm -hmm. We should know about NVIDIA uh, mm -hmm. over, Kuberne over Kubernetes. Yeah. And I can say that it was a challenge, but we finally we did it. That's awesome. No, the, the GPU use case in Kubernetes has just grown over the years. And I see that becoming like almost a better option for compute maybe, yeah. right? Like you can definitely throw a few GPUs at a problem and it'll potentially outperform multiple cores, right? So, yeah, it's a very, very powerful way to manage your compute. That's pretty cool, right? Like, how long did, how long did that project take out of curiosity? Uh, maybe one, one year. 
Okay. Was working one yeah, year. from like inception, yeah. from idea to actually in use. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Last one year. Mm -hmm. Great. So, what what's next for you as far as the next Kubernetes project? Um, the next Kubernetes project uh, that you're gonna tackle potentially, other than the CKAD. You said you were gonna do a talk um, or propose a talk. Let me know if you need help with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <I really. laughs> And then the the CKAD. After that, what do you think your next step will be? I, I will definitely would like to to start a project from scratch. And, okay. Uh, for a big company. Right. <laughs> More big, bigger. Right. Move up uh, in the world. Yeah, yes, yeah. And uh, lead the project. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, are you are you volunteering in, in the project right now? Are you working on any aspect of it or with anybody, any SIG or anything? Uh, in Kubernetes, I am doing some contributions. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to translate from English to Spanish. That's awesome. To make more, more accessible the Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, Thank you. Also, I am trying to to get in, enter into the core mm -hmm. to, to contribute in the core of Kubernetes. Awesome. That's awesome. So, when I have no idea how much time we have left. <laughs> Whenever we want. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> um, any parting thoughts before we, you know, potentially sign off for the day? Uh, party? Do you, what are any other thoughts that you have about? Uh, um, I don't know. I just want to say uh, thank you so much for the invitation and no enjoy in Cubicon 2021. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. We're back, folks. And yeah, thank you so much, yeah, Edith. I really you. appreciate you coming on. Um, so, folks, uh, that's all the guests I have for today lined up. Thank you very much uh, to our live uh, studio audience here, all five of you. Um, <laughs> so, yes, it being it being day zero, it's kind of quiet out here right now. But to my left is the vendor hall, which will be buzzing tomorrow. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Uh, and um, yes, awesome. Yes, thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, yes, thank you everybody that came on today for sharing your experiences, and I am Chris Short, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Chris Short, and if you have any uh, questions, feel free to send them to me on the Kate Slack, and I'm ha happy to help you out with anything that I can help with. And for now, I'm signing off. We'll see you around.